a rough, it's a rough hurricane, as you know better than anybody. Right in the middle of the storm. Uh, FEMA has been incredible. I mean, the bad news is that this is some big monster. You don't want to be in that path. That's a path you don't want to be in. We've had two big earthquakes in the last couple of weeks. One, the one that was just to the southeast of Mexico City, that was a 7.1. But a couple weeks before that, we had the 8.1 earthquake. I worked with Russian scientists in the mid-1990s, and what we developed were systems for leading them offshore. And this information was given to the U.S. military because Russia really doesn't have a problem with hurricanes. We do. Here we go again, guys. Another man-made, geoengineered storm. And knowing that the government, uh, the bankers, have the ability to knock these things out with their weaponry, their electromagnetic weaponry, but they're not. They're defeated. Barbuda, which has already been destroyed, you know, half of the population there is homeless, but Barbuda is bracing for Hurricane Jose. They're remotely controlling it with heart. Hurricane Irma and Jose are basically man-made with this technology that I'm about to show you. Basically, these are frequency weapons, so to speak, or weather modification technology off the west coast of Africa. How actually do they form? Well, believe it or not, a hurricane is sort of like a bowling ball. They form off the coast of Africa as a small breeze, and then they gather energy as they go toward warm water across the Atlantic. Agenda, while he lets everybody on the ground do the work that they are well equipped to do, you know, it, it's an obvious man-made, I mean, not, not man-made, natural, incredible disaster that Texas is dealing with. And so the federal... There is geoengineering. There is weather manipulation. There is the weaponization of weather. There is everything. It's admitted. It's known. There's evidence of it. It's on the internet. The Air Force has uh, gotten great value out of ARP in the past two years. We took over from the Navy and managed it and actually did a number of uh, experiment campaigns up there and uh, have finished our, our work that we we're interested in doing up there. Now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College. I came across the issue of geoengineering. There's substantial evidence that these programs are going on currently not only from the testimonies you're hearing today, but from doctors, scientists, and activists around the world. And you know what they're doing now? They have set up a checkpoint at the bottom of this bridge. This is the bridge that takes you from New Orleans over into Gretna. It's the only way out. They've set up a checkpoint, and anyone who walks up out of that city now is turned around. What does Raytheon, big oil companies, uh, Bill Gates, the CIA, and uh, the Jason Group have in common? Well, uh, all of those groups are involved in thinking about and researching geoengineering. We've uh, moving on to other ways of uh, managing the ionosphere, which the HARP was really designed to do, was to inject energy into the ionosphere, be able to actually control it. And, uh, but that work is, has been completed. Lasers? Really? To change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. U.S. military, we knew that they had militarized this information in the early 2000s. They sent up three large satellites. They said they were for communications. We knew that they were laser satellites, and they have been using these to manipulate storms. The government has patents on this stuff. These are a show of force by the banking system, and there's many, many agendas of why they're doing this. You know, the agenda, this is where all the oil rigs are. It's tracing the coastline like la a laser beam. We finally have the top scientist astrophysicist in the world, Michio Kaku, is telling us that yes, these hurricanes are the result of a weather uh, modification program. We have more islands. You can totally see the same kind of frequencies coming out out of these islands. And you can see these frequencies coming out of them because they have this technology there. And then if it comes in just right, It'll get a strike. It'll go into the Gulf of Mexico, get energized by the warm water, or it could be a gutter ball and simply veer off in the direction, a wrong direction. You can look out on the horizon, look up in the air and see streaks and trails of what obvious is not water vapor. 
Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. This is a global issue. A quote from the U.S. Air Force document reads, In 2025, U.S. aerospace forces can own the weather by capitalizing on emerging technologies. You are not allowed to go to Gretna, Louisiana from New Orleans, Louisiana. Look in the face of the baby. This is it. This is it. No sugar coating, no political spin, no Republicans with Democrats. People suffering. Let them go. Bill Gates, for example, is investing in a number of geoengineering companies and projects. He's backing scientists doing that kind of work. Uh, the security state is taking a close interest in it. Uh, they're carrying out inquiries. And uh, the way they do this are hurricanes. We first have to dispel this myth that hurricanes are somehow crea uh, created and maintained by warm water. Totally incorrect. The hurricanes are powered by electrical currents from the ionosphere. Now, I told you when um, Harvey hit, they were going to raise gas prices. We already have a gas increase already, about 35 cents right now, than it, when it was before the storm. The skies are sprayed with nanoparticles, you might as well have said chemtrails, because they're the same thing, delivery systems for nano dust. They're spraying the skies with nanoparticle. This technology, you can zoom out a little bit, is creating these spindles, so to speak, right? You can totally see all of these and all of these. And they will say, those are contrails. Those are from jets. Where? Cross-hatched jets? What are you talking about? These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions, and these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. There are also doctors like David Keith, Alan Robach, and Ken Caldera, all trying to convince the American people that these climate engineering programs are a good thing to help fight global warming. When confronted, they deny these programs as good. They began talking about, uh, for example, a sulfate aerosol shield that would, would reflect some some sunlight back into the atmosphere and cool the planet. A very, you know, it sounds like crazy science fiction, but in fact it's a very serious proposal getting a lot of work. The government issued a warning stating that because of the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, this hurricane season, which goes on till the end of November, could be one of the worst in memory. So watch out, there could be more monster hurricanes to come.